Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss what binary numbers are. Uh, it's something that I would have done, and initially when I was, I was using it, I, I didn't really, I didn't know what they were, I didn't understand them, and I didn't really see the point of it. Like for example, if you watch the film The Matrix, everything you'll see these these ones and zeros all over the place, and supposedly this these these series of ones and zeros can make up the entire matrix. And if you look, if you're dealing with electronics, like for example, if you have a camera or a mobile phone, they're all done using what are called binary numbers. So how does how does um, you know a series of binary numbers help you to draw you know write a text message or draw something or so we'll just introduce that. So the first thing is we live in a world where we use what's called a base ten. Base ten. What a base ten means is we use ten different numbers in order to make up every other number, and the ten numbers we use are zero, one, two up to 9. And with those 10 numbers you're able to make up any number in the world. For example this number here, that number there, that's an enormous number and it's made up of those uh, those initial 10 numbers. So those 10 numbers make up everything. Similarly you can say that there are other numbering systems. There's one called hexadecimal. How do you spell hexadecimal? I don't know, hex e decimal maybe. Excuse my spelling. Now hexadecimal is made up, it is, it's a base 16. So it uses 16 uh, digits or characters in order to make up every number. And those are 0 up to 9 and then it uses A, B, C, D, E and F. So for example if you're doing hexadecimal, you know, a number might be 9A. That might be a number. And like I said in base 10 you might be using, that might be a number or, or this might be a number. But in in in, uh, in hexadecimal, that means it's it's you might have nine a or you might have you know d b nine or something like that. That's a that's a b. They're they're numbers. And you might say, well, how is that a number? Well, like we say, we're using in our base ten system. We use numbers. We are we use what we call numbers. So let's say go back to base ten. Ten right, and we have zero, one, two, up up to nine, and we use those. Characters. Now, to mind numbers, we use those characters in order to represent all our numbers. Well, who's to say that they have to be those characters? All that matters is that we have ten of them. They could look like anything. You could have one as a circle with a dot, one could be a square, one could be, I don't know, an arrow, um, a line. We'll say, okay, one second, no, one, two, three, four, um, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and that's a number. 9 and give me one last one, I, I can't, alright, so that's 10. So there we have 10 characters and with those, as long as you know what value those 10 characters are, well then you can make up anything, it's the exact same as this. So the question is how does the value, what is the value? Well the way it works, this is base 10, right? So we have 10 characters and every one of these characters uh, gives a number to the power of 10. So we'll say we have our numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, they're all the characters that make up all the numbers. So how do these characters make up the numbers? So we'll say we have the number 104. Now, and we're using base 10. That's the, the thing we're doing. So, the way you read, you read from right to left. You know that, for example, this number here, the number to the, fir to, to the left is the highest or the, the biggest number. Then we'll have the, so like we'll say we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's say this is six. So we know that this is the biggest number, the next biggest number, the next, next, next. And we know this is the smallest number. So we read, we'll say, or we, they, they increase from uh, left, from right to left, or decrease from left to right. And how it works is this one here is four times ten to the zero. Ten to the zero is equal to one. That gives me four. This one here is zero times ten to the one. And this here is uh, 1 times 10 to the 2. So what's 10 to the 10 squared is equal to 100. 0 times 10 is equal to 0. And 4 times 10 is equal to 4. And if you add the 3, you'll get 100 plus 0 plus 4 is equal to 104. Okay, so just to show that the fact that we use numbers or these characters 1 to 9 or 0 to 9, sorry, uh, is, is not important. What is important is the base. So just again, we, we've we've made up 
10 characters up there, the circle, the square, the arrow and so on. And we're saying that this, these are the characters of an imaginary system in base 10. So remember base 10, so that means the first, in the numbers being read from left to right, the first one is 10 to the 0, it's, uh, next one is 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, dot dot dot. So that's the, the power of the, uh, that is the power of the number. So what we're saying is the fact that we use numbers is incidental, they can be absolutely anything. So let's, let's see if we can illustrate that by, um, let's we make a number, we'll make a number arrow square w. And we're saying this is base 10. So this number here is, uh, it is w, that's a w, times 10 to the 0, plus square times 10 to the 1, plus uh, arrow times 10 to the 2. So that's w times 1 plus square times 10 plus arrow times 100. We know that arrow is, we'll say, 2. Now, like I said, it, it, yeah, this is an imaginary. So that will be 200 plus square is 1. So that's 10 plus w is 9. So in base 10, so we'll say, um, this is, it's a base 10 system anyway. So this number here would be uh, 219. So the point is that the fact that we use, we use the characters 0 to 9 is, is irrelevant. They can be absolutely anything. So let's illustrate that further. There is another numbering system which is used, you know, people actually use this one, it's called hexadecimal. And hexadecimal works because it is a base 16 system. What does that mean? It means as you're reading from left to right a number, the first one is something times 16 to the 0, plus something times 16 to the 1, plus something times 16 to the 2, dot dot dot, up to 16 to the 16. And the characters, so this means they need to have 16 characters. And the characters that they use are 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And then they use A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is the, this is the character of least value. This is the character of F is the character of maximum value. Now why do they use uh, the characters A to F? Why not use, um, you know, 10, 11, 12? I think the reason they do that is because these have two characters and you you want these numbers to be written in, in one character. So they could be anything. You could instead have said 0 to 9 and then you know square, circle, arrow. You could have done that too. But they didn't because we use uh, we use letters anyway in life so we'd be familiar with those. Remember of course that your alphabet the alphabet is you know it, it, it would be similar to a base is it 26? Yeah so like there are 26 characters make up all the words in the alphabet. So anyhow, yeah, this—that's what the hex looks like. And just to show the hex is uh, equivalent to base ten, so we'll go. We'll tell you the number f to a. So that's a times sixteen to the zero, plus two times sixteen to the one, plus f times sixteen to the um, what's that? One two zero one two. Is that, is that 256? Just let me check that out there. 16 squared. Yeah. 256. So we have 250. So we've, sorry, we've um, F times 256 plus 2 times 16 plus A times 1. And F is equal to 16. So 16 times 256 plus 32 plus A times 1. A is equivalent to 10. So it's 10. So that number would be 16 multiplied by 256 plus 32 plus 10 that, that number is equivalent so F to A in base 16 you write base in the, sub, in the subscript is equivalent to 4138 in base 10 so I suppose an advantage in this as well is by the way this takes three characters to write the same number in base 10 in four characters now you can imagine, of course, that if you used maybe a base 100 system, that you would you'd be able to write it a lot quicker. But anyway, so that, that's just to show you that yes, we, you know, we we humans in general operate in different bases. So we 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 have our hex system, and well, the purpose of this video really is to talk about binary. And I wanted to be able to introduce all these other things before I introduce binary. So binary binary means two. So this is a base two system. That means it means two characters will make all the other characters, and the two characters we use are one. And zero. 
So these two characters make up every other number. Similarly, the way 0 to 9 made up uh, all the other numbers in base 10, and uh, 0 to 9 and 8 to F made up all the other numbers in base 16. So, look, like I said, this should be no, no different. Do you know, this, this operates the same way. So if you have a number, and these are the characters of the numbers, so this one would be whatever something times uh, 2 to the 0, something times 2 to the 1, something times 2 to the 2, plus something times 2 to the 3, like that. And dot 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 up to up to whatever it is. So say for example we had a number, and we'll say the number is one one zero one. So that is one times two to the zero plus zero times two to the one plus one times two to the two plus one times two to the uh, zero one two three. Two two is a four. Two four is a eight. Two eight is sixteen. So this is one times sixteen plus one times four plus um, 0 plus 1 so that's 16 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 so that's 15 onto 16 giving us 31 so 31 in base 10 is equivalent to 1101 in base 2 um, yeah so like I said that's just that shows you that they're all equivalent these are just different ways of writing the same things and uh, I suppose now we will talk about why binary is actually useful. We'll discuss uh, we'll discuss how it's used in electronics. Now, by the way, um, I suppose the reason binary is so good is is that you it's it's you know it's it's only got two two digits. It's a lot more. It's not, it's a lot simpler. And uh, the only problem is as it because it's simpler in in complexity than it is it's uh, uh, the the numbers are a lot bigger. So like for example, you know you might have a number. One four six one, like in base ten, and now it might be equivalent to like maybe eight characters in base two, or maybe even more. So it's um yeah. So anyway, like I said, that's a uh, that's just an introduction into binary. What computers do, they do they do two things. First of all, binary. When they're talking about binary, they can have an on or off function, and the other one can be kind of a number, a one one. You know, a one zero one one zero sort of a sort of a function. What do you mean by on and off? Like digital circuits, like the circuits that you have, your computer or your phone is made up of, you know, millions of these little circuits. And the way they work is, everything is either on or off. So we'll say an on will correspond to a one, and an off will correspond to a zero. And the way they'll do this is, we'll, I, I, I know that you you mightn't uh, understand. We'll say a bit of um, electricity or or a bit of physics. So I'm hoping that you'll have heard of something called an electron. And uh, electrons moving around the place are what gives you your electricity. So what they so there's obviously going to be electrons or, or a current moving in your phone, and what they'll or in any device that you have. So what people do is they say if a current is moving or electrons are moving, it is on. Therefore, it is equal to a binary digit of one. And if there are no electrons, then it's off and a binary digit of zero. So basically through these they have the little circuits that will allow current to flow and whether or not the current flows you'll get these different numbers like that and uh, through those different numbers you're able to make things. So I suppose that's, that's, the, that's, the, um, that's essentially how they do it. Now if you want, uh, the, what I'm going to do now is something slightly more complicated Obviously, if 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 you don't want to, if you don't want to read that or watch that, that's fine. But I'm going to try try and make up an example as to what where you get a one and a zero. Uh, you'd have to you'd have to do a small bit of electronics for this. So if if the, if you don't know it, well, that's okay. But anyway, um, there are things called transistors. Okay, so we know that. Uh, well, we don't know. I'm telling you that transistors have are, are switches. They're they're these they're little switches. And because they're switches, like your light switch, your switch can be either on or off. And I said that in electronics, on or off means conducting or not conducting. So like I said, now you don't need to know what I'm doing here now. I'll just, just let me draw it first and see if I can explain or is, explain this to you and give you a feel of how these things work. So I'm just going to draw a quick circuit. Like I said, you don't need to know what's happening. I'll try and explain.
Okay, so this is a circuit. This is a very, very, very basic circuit. And what do I have in the circuit? I have a transistor and another transistor. And I said a transistor can be either on or off. Okay, on or off. So the output of a transistor is here, that line there, and this line here. So I, I said to you a moment ago that something being conducting or not conducting can give you a 1 or a 0. So if this, we'll say if this wire here conducts, then it's going to be a 1, and if it doesn't conduct, it's going to be a 0. So with this, um, with this little circuit here, what can we make? Well, it's, first of all, it's got, two, it's got two transistors, and each transistor can be a 1 or a 0, or you could say each transistor can be a single bit. So this would be, we'll say, a 2-bit cell. And in this, like literally, we'll say if I, this, this, we'll say this wire here turns on, uh, turns on the, uh, the transistors. So if I put this one conducting, then if I put this one conducting, uh, how about this? I won't say that. I'll say if I, if I do put the correct things onto this wire, this will conduct and I'll give it, this, this transistor will give a 1. If this transistor gives a 1, then it will turn off this transistor and give a 0. So when this is a 1, when I put, I will say, when I put this, this wire conducting, I'll get a 1, 0 on, in my cell. If I say that this wire here is not conducting, well this one here will be a 1 and the other one will be a 0. Now how that happens, don't worry about it. All I want to show you is that by the fact that electrons are conducting, I can get a, I can get numbers out of them. And I showed a moment ago that numbers or binary digits like this in base 2 are equivalent to something in, uh, in base 10. So they're equivalent to something that, that we're, we're well aware of, we, we definitely understand. So that, like I said, I hope that gives you a feel as to why uh, binary numbers are useful in uh, both electronics and what they, what they mean. Of course, by the way, just finally, you could have something, you know, you could have something in a base 20. And say if you had, a, I don't know if we use a base 20, but if you had a base 20, then you'd have to have 20 different characters. They could be absolutely anything. And those 20 characters would say, you know, you have whatever character, all its characters, and all of it would matter would be something times 10 to the 20, sorry, excuse me, would be um, something times 20 to the 0, plus something times 20 to the 1, plus dot dot dot. Exactly the same as how we did the hex, base 16, the, uh, the base 10, and the base 2, the binary. So I hope that's, I hope that's interesting and perhaps useful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, pass it on to your friends, and thanks for watching.